Hey everyone and welcome back to another lecture of our Safety by Crash Course series and in this video we'll be talking about lazy V stack. So in our previous lectures we have discussed about V stack which is vertical stack and how we can use V stack to arrange our views uh, vertically. Similarly lazy V stack in lazy V stack 2 we can arrange our views vertically. The only difference is when we are using V stack then all the views let's say we have 100 child views inside the V stack. So whenever the screen is loaded and the VE stack appears, then it will load all the 100 child views immediately and occupy all the memory space that the 100 child views need and it will render all of them on the screen. Regardless or not, they are on they are on the screen or off the screen. But in lazy VE stack, let's say if you have 100 child views in lazy VE stack, then let's say only 10 of the views are currently being displayed on the screen and the other views are off the screen. If you want to see them, you will have to scroll them up. So lazy v stack will only load the views which are currently on the screen so if there are only 10 views on the screen lazy v stack will load only 10 of them and if there are a few more then if you start scrolling them then it will keep loading more and more data and it will take the memory as you scroll through the list so that's the difference between lazy v stack and v stack that v stack will take the memory in at the initial stage only whereas lazy v stack will take memory once the views are loaded on the screen so let's see by example. So currently I have a scroll view added in the body and inside the scroll view I have a lazy view stack. So I have just created a list using a lazy view stack and scroll view that has around 500 uh, child views and inside the child view we have a v hash stack which shows an image and a text. Let's uh, reload this preview so that we can see it on the screen. And here I also have an on appear function which will get called once the hash stack is loaded on the screen. So currently you can see I have used lazy vstack. So only the views that are currently being displayed on top of the screen should take up the memory. So on appear should be called for only those views which are currently being displayed on the screen. So let's see how the view looks now. Okay, so as our view has loaded, you can see right tick left and a star icon is being displayed. So here, if we check the console, you will see that only few items have loaded like like only for few hashtag the on appear has been called because only the views that are currently being displayed on the screen are shown here are only taking up the memory if i clear them and start scrolling the screen you'll see that one more view is loaded because one more view is now visible on the screen so similarly as i scroll the list you'll see more and more views are being loaded and the memory are being allotted to those new views and Let's convert this to V stack. So I will remove this lazy keyword from here and I'll make it a V stack. And now once the preview will load, you will see in the console that the, all the views has been loaded regardless or not, they are on the screen or off the screen. V stack has loaded all the data at one go. So if you talk about the memory efficiency, you can clearly see that lazy V stack is much more memory efficient and the performance of lazy v stack is far much better than v stack if you have let's say 10 or 20 elements you should definitely use a v stack but if you have a long list it's always best choice to use a lazy v stack i hope you understood the difference between both of them and uh, if you have any doubt just let me know in comments so that's it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one thank